Teacher friend, how are you? I hope that you are fine. I hope that you are in a good place and that you are doing your best to finish strong. We are nearing the end of yet another school year. I know I can't believe how quick this year has gone by. And really, I'm here today more than anything else to provide rhetorical empowerment to remind you that you can force your mind into a place of increased wholeness and wellness. And as you do that, trigger your brain to give your body, oh, you see that process? <laughs> to be equipped with the tools that help you to finish strong. So already you all get the picture that Damien is in a place of wellness, wholeness, and peace myself. And so prepared and such a disposition to speak life to my educators, to my colleagues, to my family during this quick, brief video. And as such, typically you don't share my stuff. Typically, you don't make it pop. Ah, you don't let it do what it do. But go ahead and share it. Subscribe if you see us in places where you subscribe. And make sure that this thing flows because our teacher, many of them, our teachers, many of them are in 911 situations. And knowing that we're having a conversation that's tailor-made for that teacher and for the rest of us, why wouldn't you share the material? And even when I replay this by way of the watch party function that I've grown to love, make sure that you all are hearting, make sure that you all are thumbs upping and doing what you need to do also in that space. Here it is, young people. Here it is, my friends. I have been so blessed to have experienced Dr. Caroline Lee. Okay, the work that she presented this weekend was not necessarily new to me, but it was a very necessary reminder of something that I actually have already shared on a previous empowerment video. It's when we get to that place to discuss and realize the plasticity of our brains. But here's Caroline Leaf's unique trans. Her unique, what was I going to say with trans? Her unique contribution to the conversation. Dr. Caroline Leaf helps us to understand that the mind has the ability, hear me, to change the brain. That even when we have experienced certain trauma that has impacted our brain, certain toxic things, that has changed the structure of our brain, causing us and our physiology to experience negative byproducts of bad stuff that's happening up there. We have the ability by way of mindfulness, by way of intentionality, here this third point, by way of speaking life to get ourselves back to a place of increased wellness, and wholeness. Therein lies, my friends, the invitation right there. Even if you need to pause this thing immediately and start to speak life into yourself, know, here it is, that you have the power in this moment to unlock, if you will, a superpower within you to change your circumstance, which means that with all of the toxic stuff that many of us experience in the classroom, if we continue to allow those things to weigh us down to a point, whereas depression continues to persist, whereas we are not ever getting any better beyond the place of just downtroddenness that we are currently experiencing, if we stay there, and we never seek any resolve or experience any resolve, 
based on this body of work, you stay there because that's a choice. You choose to stay there. If I am telling you, and if this is true, which I believe it is, that we have the ability to speak life in such a way that our brain starts a rewiring process to serve our bodies in a different way to help us. It's not going to change the fact that that toxic reality happened, that that trauma occurred, but it can change the way that your physiology responds to the trauma. It's a powerful thing to me. That's, that's why I'm starting to speak the way that I'm speaking. So right now, I'm just going to speak life to myself. It's almost as if you don't exist. Damien, you are powerful. Even now, maybe based on the way that I'm sitting, but probably based on some stress, the things that I'm feeling in the back of my neck, I just want to serve that space in a positive way and in a, in a real sense, tell any negative vibes, tell any tension, tell any worry, tell any angst that you have to go. You have no space here. This is my mind telling my brain to go through a different process so that my body can live a different experience. And guess what? Even if y'all probably think like this dude is overstretching the truth and me sharing that whatever little thing that I had going on and right now I even want to serve it just a little bit more. Like it feels better. It feels less tense and less bottled up than it did before I started that process of speaking life. So I encourage, urge and beg you, teacher, adult caregiver, to tap into the place of your superpower right now. If you haven't already started doing it and utilize self-talk to get yourself whole and right and to start your process of improving immediately. And don't be ashamed to utilize this particular strategy as many times as you need to to get to where you need to get. So I started with you. Now let's really speak to the fact that with this particular truth, this means that even our kids don't have to be victims any longer of the stuff that happened to them. So guess what? You are a hope dealer. When you go into that classroom this week, be reminded that you have the ability based on your voice. And that's the reason why we had this SEO practice, people. When your teacher affirms the ability for somebody like me to come into your school and do my work and say that the work can continue when I'm not there. You got no excuses to say why you're not doing that stuff. This, this practice. Because when you're not doing it, you're not unlocking the true essence and potentiality of the young person to let them know that they are more than a cog on a machine to let them know that this Practice and this work matters. It starts the process of allowing them to change the structure or the damage that was caused in their brain based on all of that junk. And they here, as we create these safe spaces, are allotted the opportunity to be vulnerable, are allotted the opportunity to be open are allotted the opportunity to experience a level of wholeness that maybe they don't get anywhere else. And why in the world won't we do this if unlocking this strategy affords us the opportunity <laughs> to be less stressed, affords them the opportunity to be less stressed, which at the end of the day makes us all happier. Minds have the ability to change damage that has been caused to the brain and the traumatic stuff that then happens in our bodies because we are damaged. I just, I want to get off of it, but I know I'm talking to some damaged educators because I follow you all in my different educator groups that I'm a part of. To some extent, I'm a damaged educator. So my question is, are we utilizing the tools, the power of our own voice, to get beyond damage and to get to wholeness and wellness. Love you. Appreciate you. Peace out.